Israel is the cheapest or the richest occupation in history. If this occupation doesn't become costly, Israel will not change their policy. They are benefiting from their occupation, from their illegal actions. Boycott, it's one way, one method, you know, that the public and civil society has a full right to do and to act, or to react on the Israeli uh, international crimes. Third state parties, they failed to face and to act. Civil society and the public, they have a full right to find their own ways, if it's peaceful ways. And this is a peaceful way, you know, to react against policies. Boycott is not against Jews. Boycott, it's against the policy of the state. It's against the international crimes committing by this state. It's completely and 100% a freedom of expression because they expressed their opinion regarding how to react on the international crimes and in peaceful way that it's legitimate for the civil society. And this is their own way of reaction. But in the same time, it has no legal basis, let me say, the obligations. If you don't boycott as a person, no obligation in you except an ethical issue. There is no legal, let me say, basis or obligation. Here, it's a full right. It has to be continue, but also I am with the idea of banning. And here, all the states, they try to move and to push their responsibility to put it on the shoulders of the consumers. They don't want to take and to act according to their obligation, legal obligation under the international law. And because of that, we are speaking about banning. And this is the responsibility of the states. They have not, from the beginning, to allow the products to enter their markets. Today, I spoke with the Human Rights Commissioner here, the Commission. I said to him, and also yesterday, I said to the uh, advisor of the uh, president, and day before, also yesterday, also to the uh, foreign ministry people that I met with, I said that clearly, France, you have now which called law or directive or something like that, criminalizing those, those they calling for boycott. This one, it's illegal. This law here, the French law, is illegal. Why? Because it's a breach and it violates the uh, rights of the people of freedom of expression. They have complete full right of expression. They are not inciting against Jews. They are not inciting against a group, ethnic group. They are against, you know, the international crimes. And the state has to take their responsibility. That's, they have to act, the states have to act. And here I think uh, you have as a civil society, you have to challenge this law or this directive or something like that before the Constitutional Court. In my point of view, legally speaking, I think it's illegal and it's you know, in violation of the freedom of ex expression of the civil society and of the people. That's the case. I am with by cut and I am with banning. As al haq we are not part of the campaign because you know we deal with ourselves as a professional organization and we try to analyze everything on the basis of law. Because of that, we brought what's called banning of the settlements of products. That's uh, the issue of uh, boycott. And this time, you are the French, you are the only state criminalizing those they are calling 
and campaigning for by cut. You are the only one. And now in the US, you know, uh, the Zionist lobby uh, trying, you know, to get some states within the US to legalize, let me say, to uh, issue a new legislations uh, against the boycott and uh, against the states or any states or any country, for instance, following or acting against the Israeli settlements. Uh, this is a political position. It's a legal position. And the position here, it's a political position you know, taken by, took by the uh, French government.